here we go. Hey everybody, it's me, Sid. Stuart wanted me to read you another story about Curious George, so... I guess here's another story about Curious George, huh? This one's called The Surprise Gift. Huh. The Surprise Gift. Is it his birthday? I don't know. Alright, well let's find out. George was a good little monkey, and always very curious. This afternoon, George was curious about a large box his friend was bringing home. A large box meant a large gift. Yeah, that's usually true. I wonder what it is. Bananas? Did someone say bananas? Sorry, George, said his friend, setting the gift on the table. This present's not for you. It's for Professor Wiseman's birthday. She'll open it at dinner tonight. George was disappointed. Dinner was hours away. He wanted to know what was under the wrapping paper right now. Yeah, me too. It was lucky George didn't have much time to think about the present. His friend needed help preparing Professor Wiseman's birthday dinner. Here is something to unwrap, said his friend. Peel this orange to get to the good stuff. George took the rind off. Squirt! The orange peel had kept the sweet juice inside. Yeah, that's the best part. The sweet juice. Mm. George realized there was a lot of food in the kitchen that could be unwrapped. Bananas, apples, cheese, even an onion. Stinky. Soon George had unwrapped many yummy things. Maybe too many. But he still didn't know what was under the wrapping paper of the gift. Look at that mess. Before George could let his curiosity get the best of him, his friends sent him to the department store to pick up his new suit. At the store, George encountered many presents. There were gift boxes everywhere he looked, all brightly colored and too tempting for one little monkey to resist. George unwrapped a box, but there was nothing interesting to him inside. Looks like a coffee pot. Coffee's good. In the window display, there were more gift boxes. Strangely enough, the boxes had nothing at all inside. They were used for decoration, though not anymore. Now George couldn't wait to help unwrap the present at home. He was sure it would have something inside. George hurried to finish his errand. Look at that mess, George. What are you doing? When George got home, the present was nowhere to be found. The man with the yellow hat had wisely hidden it from his curious little monkey. Did that stop George? George looked under the table for the surprise gift. Then he went to check the bedroom and the bathroom. George, 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 what are you doing? In the bathroom, George noticed that the walls were covered in wrapping paper. George scratched. He peeled. He unwrapped. What did George find after all the unwrapping? A wall! Unlike presents and fruit, nothing especially good was hiding underneath. Oh my goodness, what a mess. Oh no, what a mess. Luckily, there was still something left to unwrap that promised something very nice and very big inside. It was time for Professor Wiseman to open her birthday gift. With George's help, she unwrapped and unwrapped and unwrapped. I wonder what it is. Inside the big box was a small gift. I never thought a present like this should be in such a big box, she said. The man with the yellow hat had wrapped it so that she would have a harder time guessing what was inside. And it worked. George realized that what's on the outside doesn't always tell you what's on the inside. But sometimes it does. Like with that banana. The end. Wow. What a story. George just started unwrapping everything. Fruit. Boxes at the store. The wallpaper. What a mess. Oh man, that poor man with the yellow hat. George, what are you doing? Alright, well, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Stewart's other videos. Till next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you next time.